Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, this is it. This is the Ramble. I'm Alex, and we'll be here until midnight on the East Coast of the United States tonight. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, she's tired. I'm tired, but we're not tired, so tired that we can't talk with you. Hello, Ronnie Bennett. Good morning. How are you? You're fine. How are you doing? Tired. Huh? Besides tired. Besides tired. I don't know. I'm tired all the time, too. I think mine is a different reason than yours, however. Mine, I think, has to do with um, it's COVID-related. Not that I have COVID, but that uh, because of it, I've been stuck indoors most of You're not alone. You can't complain if the whole world needs to I know, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to have an effect of it, you know. I mean, mean, but, but... but the, I don't know. I just don't get the point. Everyone talks about it. If it's it's what you have to do if you would like to live. Yeah, yeah. I know it's what you have to do if you want to live, but it doesn't mean that you're not going to have the effects of staying indoors for so much time. I mean, uh, I mean, I've been out, and I've tried to Which take is more than I've been. I've tried to take walks lately. Okay, but. Prior to that, I hadn't been out in, uh, geez, you know, six months. Just, you know, I mean, except for a few excursions to go get provisions, but that's it. That's more than I do. I have everything delivered. Yeah. Well, I have most, we have most of our stuff delivered now. Um, how, how, <laughs> how do you, what kind of delivery system do you use? Do you have friends? I use or, Amazon or, Fresh. You do use Amazon Fresh. Okay. Well, because I'm, I belong to Amazon Prime, and if you pay, I mean, if you buy thirty-five dollars worth of stuff, and whoever spends less than thirty-five dollars at the grocery store, right, um, it's delivered for free. Yeah, and you can pick the time. I rarely do it early enough in the day that I can get it delivered the same day, but I can get it delivered the next morning. Yeah, so I've done it two or three times. Um, Everything has arrived. The only thing anything was wrong was a couple of tomatoes weren't quite as fresh as I would have bought them, but they weren't inedible. They weren't, they weren't rotten or right. anything. And, um, and, and the selection is dismal. Um, but, you know, what do I eat? It's not a big deal. Well, uh, um, uh, I, I use Instacart. Because we we want to shop from Costco and they go and pick it up and all of that, you know. And um, um, what I find is the problem with not being able to go in and shop is especially where fruit is concerned. You don't know what it's like, you know, when it, it, if it comes to you. Lately, we've been ordering grapes and the grapes have been terrific. But if we order strawberries, forget it, you know. Uh, well, that's true. When you're in the store, you just get a choice to buy or not. Yeah. Sometimes you can kind of stick your finger in there and grab a grape and see how good or bad it is, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, 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 it doesn't replace actually going out and shopping. But if you have to do this, it's okay. It works out fine. You know what it saves? It saves, uh, what's the phrase for it? You know, the stuff that you buy on the spot that you didn't plan on buying, they're not on your list. Right. Just money that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get all the impulse buys as you're walking <laughs> That's out the, the word door. I was looking for, yeah. You know, the it, it, years ago, uh, I often said the only reason TV Guide made a living was because of impulse buying. It was always at the checkout stand. Oh, I forgot my TV guide. And uh, or, you know, or the tabloids. It doesn't matter which. <laughs> the tabloids, they were there too. Also, that candy bar you always needed, you know. Count on those candy bar things at the checkout. Place. Yeah. yeah. I don't have nearly as much candy bar in the house now because there's no checkout stand. Yeah, there's no checkout stand. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we make sure we have our uh, enough of it. However, we do. Marjorie does go up to. We have a place called Stu Leonard's out here. You mm-hmm. uh, and uh, they don't have them in the rest of the country, but we have them out here. And she goes up there with her friend. Uh, it's like a little path you go down, 
buying stuff. You have to take this path. And she comes back with <coughs> these link sausages that are just terrific. They're made by Stu Leonard's. And she comes back with these potato chips made by Stu Leonard's that are the greatest potato chips I've ever had in my life. They're huge, they're crispy, they're tasty, but you got to eat them within about three days, otherwise they go stale. So that's our shopping out of here. Yeah. I just, you know, get what I need, and it comes once or twice a week. Really? So uh, how have you been feeling? I'm, I've had a bad week. A bad week? Yeah. 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 I discovered, I think, I mean, you know, nothing is ever going to get better in my life. Right, right. <laughs> we know where this goes. But um, but I've discovered that for all of the an enormous number of drugs I take for different things, uh, the most important drug is sleep. And over the past 10, 12 days, I've gone three nights, not all at once, but over that period of time, three nights without a single wink of sleep and with drugs and everything. And I discovered that whatever else is going on in my body that needs treating from day to day, hour to hour or mm -hmm. whatever, um, it's the sleep that means everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. I think it also improves uh, the efficacy of drugs. Mm -hmm. um, and one morning I got up and tried to stand up and fell back on the bed. My legs wouldn't hold me up. I had not slept all night. <clears throat> and um, and it was like that all day that I just could barely move. And, uh, and when you're that tired, you don't want to do anything. You don't want to get dressed. You don't want to shower. You don't want to eat. You don't want to. Right. Do and you have to. You have to or you're not going to stand up again. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, so... In the last three nights, just jiggering around with drugs and what time I go to sleep and which sleeping potion I take or don't take, um, I've kind of evened it out. And for last night, I had a great night's sleep. I feel much better today. And I slept mostly the night before. So it's what, the thing I've learned is that it's all about sleep, number one. And two, whatever you thought yesterday was all about. Mm -hmm different today <laughs> it's a different set of rules today yes yeah. but by the <laughs> way yeah. i mean this is you know i took care of my mother when she was dying and she didn't say much about what went on she just never got out of bed when i arrived she went to bed and she stayed there for the five months until she died um and other people that i've known uh and also books that people write who are in my predicament mm -hmm. um they don't tell you the real stuff, the re this real day-to-day -day stuff. Yeah. And I would appreciate, not that it would have been the exact same for me, mm -hmm. or what goes on with me would be the same for you or anybody else. Right. But you get a general idea that, oh, this is not what life was before. You know, and it's going to be really different now, and, <clears throat> and go with the flow for as long as, in my case, because... I do have those end of life drugs. I can go with the flow until I said this is so the day comes when I say this is too much, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. 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 But I would have I would have appreciated knowing I maybe don't want the gory details, but appreciate knowing some of what's gonna come at me. There's no handbook, is there? No. No. And yeah. I've thought about writing one because there are all kinds of little things. I have learned that ease the day, mm -hmm. um, and that, uh, and so I thought about writing it, but you know, it's not a book. It would be a booklet. It's not huge. Um, one of the most interesting ones uh, I was surprised to learn, and the nurse, <clears throat> my hospice nurse, confirmed, is how tiring talking is. Mm -hmm. In my case, not cancer so much. Well, I have cancer in my, one of my lungs, but also um, COPD, is that it takes a lot of energy to push air out to talk. Mm -hmm. And I didn't understand how tiring that is. 
so that <clears throat> sometimes if I'd been talking for a while, I just, <laughs> you know, I'm going for breath and have to grab the oxygen. <laughs> and I had no idea that could happen. We go our whole lives chattering, 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 you know, and it doesn't bother us. Yeah. Little things like that that I didn't know um, that I'm learning. Yeah, that you're learning. Uh, as I say, there's no there's no handbook, and, and, uh, and then again, everybody dies differently. You know, I mean, there there are different circumstances. You could write a, a a book based on your experience, but then I could get run over by a Mack truck. Okay, uh, as an example. Well, I, those aren't the choices, but yeah, exactly. Uh, but I mean, uh, mostly, I mean, I've got this this little book that the hospice gave me. Mm -hmm. How do I do this? Gone from my sight. From my sight. Of the dying experience, and it tells you everything that anybody, everybody dying, would go through, of what happens in terms of food, um, what happens one or two weeks before, the physical changes from blood pressure and temperature and skin color, and then right before death, what you expect to happen, and so on. And, and those are general. Those happen mm -hmm. to people. I mean, they probably won't with me, at least not as much of them, because I'll be taking those drugs at some point. Mm -hmm. But if you aren't doing that and just fading away, I guess you would say, mm -hmm. you, most people will go through those stages. And, um, uh, and, it, and it pretty well matches what my mother went through. Mm -hmm. Yeah couple of other friends that I help take care of. Right, right. Well, let's get away from that for a second, okay? Uh, did you watch... It's very uh, interesting you said Nobody ever wants to talk about that, and I always do. No, I let you go as long as you want to. I just figured maybe you'd like to change the subject, you know. Uh, and today, when I talk, I get tired. Am I, I, I get Tired or breathless? Huh? Tired or breathless? Uh, just tired. I can feel like lightheaded. You know, yeah, dumb, I don't know. weird. Anyway, did you see the debate last night at all? I watched 20 or 30 minutes and turned it off. What's the point? Exactly, exactly. I was sitting there. The only time that I felt <coughs> really good was when Biden looked at him and said, will you shut up? I mean, oh, I didn't make it that far. <laughs> that that is something we've all wanted. You know, we yell that at our TV screen whenever Trump is on. Will you shut up? You know, you know that? that's very interesting. You say that. I had the, you know, I listened to either CNN or MSNBC on my little Alexa thing. You know, you're, nobody needs to see those pictures. People just chatter and you yeah, can yeah. listen to it like radio. And I find myself all day yesterday saying that to them just shut up i mean they rachel maddow and oh. blah, all of those people on those shows they just blah 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 saying the same thing over and over and over again i they don't ever have any news well has anybody told them that a presidential debate is not covered in quite the same way that you cover a football game like, well, who, do gonna who do you so think's going to win? Who do you think's going to win tonight? It. What should his strategy be? Blah 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 blah. <clears throat> I mean, I I hate Rachel Maddow. I hate most of those people on MSNBC, and they're the ones I'm supposed to root for. Okay. Well, they just repeat the same things again and again all day. I mean, you know, I'm stupid. I could just turn the damn thing off, yeah. which I eventually did, but um, it. Uh, I, I, I would. There's so much other news in the world that we're not getting because it's all Trump all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You know what else has happened that I hadn't really paid attention to? It's been there all along. Is back in the day, there used to be all news radio stations. Mm -hmm. so every 30 minutes, they would start over again and give you the headlines. Somebody dropped a bomb on some obscure country. Or, you know, an airplane went down or somebody got shot somewhere or a movie star died or whatever the news was of the hour. Mm -hmm. And then they went on with maybe a little commentary. There's no place to go for that anymore. No. no. The, the cable channels don't do that. No. They just pick a topic for the last four years it's been Trump and that's all they talk about. 
Well, Trump has learned how to monopolize the news cycle. And, no, they don't, and, don't blame well, it on well, Trump. Well, They're grown up. Well, wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish what I was going to say. He has monopolized <coughs> the news cycle, and these people have been the what's the word I'm looking? What when a person helps somebody's narcotics habit? Uh, he's called a, a uh, bet. Uh, well, he a bet. A bet. They've been abetting the whole thing because. They're in in they're encouraging him, you know. They're facilitating. But, they, but they're grown up. Yeah, they're grown ups. They should know better, or their producers and their editors should know better. But they allow them to do all Trump all the time, and you know what? He has less to say than I do, and I don't have much to say these well, days. I'll tell you something. If anybody, when you say, "Well, <coughs> who can we blame on Trump being president today?" We could say, yes, it's the American public that voted for him, and they can't get off the hook on this one. But also, MSNBC is a good example of why he got elected, because they gave him so much free publicity, he didn't have to buy time on their damn TV stations. You know? I mean, he knew how to manipulate them and play them like a violin, and they went right along with it. You know, it's I don't give him that much credit. I just think he babbles and people follow he doesn't plan it. Well, I mean, come on. everybody. Uh, nobody's going to avert their eyes from a car crash by the side of the road, right? But I think we're over the car crash about three years ago. Well, we should be. <laughs> we should be, but are we? Yeah. And I, I just don't care what he has to say. Every single morning, I've said this on this show before, every single morning I wake up, I brush my teeth, I start the car. By the way, my electric... Tea kettle died this morning. That was an irritation, and um, and I'm ne- and I burned my hand boiling water in a saucepan. Um, <laughs> As though things aren't bad <laughs> enough. Thank days you should not get out of bed. And, uh, and uh, you know, I go through all that, and then I t- fire up the TV. I'd fire up the computer and turn on one of the news channels, the audio on it anyway, and. Every single day, it has never failed in four or five years. Every single day, the first time I hear, first thing I hear is Trump said something outrageous I could never have guessed he would say, that he would go that far. Every day it's new. Every single day. How does he do that? Well, his first thought when he wakes up in the morning is, how can I piss (laughs) off Ronnie Bennett? (laughs) Now he's decided, I just saw... Somewhere on my on my phone, just before we hooked up, that oh well, I've lost it, but it was some. He's oh, there was some ship that was supposed to stay docked somewhere, and he said, "No, let it let it go where it's supposed to go, and let the people get off." Um, yeah. Everything, everything he does harms, maims, or kills somebody. Am I the only person who remembers that there are thousands of little children who will never, ever see their mothers and fathers again? That they were separated and will never, ever be gotten uh, 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 together? Uh, yeah, we've almost forgotten that because COVID came along. And it, again, <coughs> let's, let's look at people like MSNBC. Uh, they find their uh, thing to gin up for the day. And that was ginning up months ago before COVID. COVID came along and was a mana from heaven for them. And so all of a sudden, these kids, what, what's happening to these kids? We don't know what's happening to them. Nobody's well, reporting The government doesn't it. even know. They didn't keep track of them. They don't know where they no, are. What's happening to them right now? You know. I think that's what I said, but yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not being reported on, is what you're saying and what I'm saying, you know. Because we are a nation of uh, uh, of, uh, of people who are now reporting based upon uh, what keeps their interest, you know, or what's going to get them an audience. They're constantly ginning it up, ginning it up. And I don't care if they're Fox or they're MSNBC or they're CNN, they're all ginning it up rather than just reporting the news. It's terrible. Really deeply concerned for our country. I, I oh. think that that's the trimming, what you're talking about. I've given up on it. I, I don't think, I'm not sure that if Biden is elected, 
I'm not sure that's going to change very much. That Trump is going to, well, first of all, he's going to stretch out the election for as long as he possibly can. Mm -hmm. I think the way it works, I'm not certain, maybe you've read or know. I think the way it works, that if there's no definitive answer yet in counting ballots by January 20, that Nancy Pelosi becomes president. That's right. Is that right? That's correct. But I don't think he's going to let that go that easily. He will come up with something. Oh, he will. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And he can go to and, the he can go to the Supreme Court, which is going to be loaded on his side. You know. So what has to happen uh, on uh, November third is there has to be such a decisive slaughtering of his side that there's no way that he can excuse it, you know, so. Alex, no jokes now for a moment, okay? Okay. No jokes, no snideness, no uh, that's the way it is kind of stuff. What do you think, who are the people who no matter how much Trump lies, how much his lies are shown up, proven, mm -hmm. no matter how nasty, mean, monstrous he is, there are all of these millions of people who can continue to support him. I don't, I read all those stupid psychiatrists, they don't know any more than I do. Nobody can explain it. Uh, what I, the only way I can explain it is there's a whole group of people who are enablers. That was the term I was looking for earlier of Donald Trump. And those enablers are the Republican Senate. That doesn't explain it. I mean, if you want to say who... That doesn't explain how it works. I mean, why... I can't understand why these Republicans are uh, giving him an excuse and Do enabling him. Like well, the point is, the point is, people? he is doing nothing but ruining their brand. He is ruining their brand. And and they do nothing to stop him. They just support him. Oh, and they make this excuse and that excuse. I mean, the minute he's not elected president, they're going to say goodbye to him and start backing somebody else. But in the meantime, they're supporting him. And that's, you that's know. That's what I'm asking. That's not the answer. Right? I, I, okay. Quite... Then my answer is I don't have an answer. Okay. Political expediency on the part of those people in the Senate, on the what part the of government? the American public, on the part Looks of... Looks like, hey, even McConnell might lose now. Even uh, the American public uh, who voted for him are, uh, I, I guess I just have to say, stupid or naive or think that this world is a television show and because he was on The Apprentice, I guess he was playing his role. Well, that's the best answer I've heard so far. Yeah. Um, it, I mean, we, we do worship empty celebrityhood, you know? Mm -hmm. So you, maybe you're the best actor in the entire world who ever lived. So now we believe you about everything? I mean, we do this to our celebrities, that we make them responsible or not even responsible, but we, we vest them in wild intelligence because they're good at one thing. Yeah. Um, and of course that's stupid, but we do it. Um, but it, I, I, I don't understand. You know, I've never been a flag waving patriot. I believe in the constitution. I deeply believe in the constitution. I, I believe in our country. I believe in its goals. I know we're not perfect, but up until the last five or six years, we've done pretty well, a lot of mistakes, but this progress has always been made. No more. We're going. We're so far backward. Oh. I don't know that there's coming back. Yeah. I don't know how to get back to where we were. Do we believe in each other? We believe in good and right and fairness. And and I I don't know how we get. We don't seem to have any sense of that anymore. Can I ask you one last question? Because we run out of time, and that is. You seem to be investing yourself in all of this, and yet you know that your time is limited. Why don't you just say to yourself, screw it, I'm not going to be here, let them sort it out? 
I do sometimes. But then I watch, even, I didn't even watch the whole thing last night. And, and I care. I really care. I can't change anything. I can't make anything different. And you're absolutely right. It won't be long before I'm gone. And it's not my problem. It's not even my problem now. I'm not in a position to do anything. Um, but how can you not care? This great 250-year experiment mm -hmm. hasn't gone all wrong until now. Um, and it's been, it's given me a good life. And I want that for everybody else. And it doesn't look like it's going to be there. That, that is terrible. And I care. And with that, we'll bring this to a close. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Ronnie Bennett, you can read her at timegoesby.net. Thank you, dear. Thank you, darling. See you in Take a couple care. of weeks. Bye. Bye. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yep. Ba -da 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 -ba -da. It, 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 for some reason, that music just, it's like hanging there. I don't know why. Anyway, welcome to the program. Uh, um, last night, uh, hard, we had like a handful of people. Uh, and um, it, uh, I, I called the show off early. I, because number one, I've been very feeling tired lately. And uh, I felt I didn't want to have to struggle to do a show if you people didn't want to struggle to call in to join it. Okay? All right. But there were some people here last night, and I thank them for, for being a part of it and, uh, and joining us. Charlie Wallace was one of them. Uh, uh, we had Jeff, of course, uh, who always calls, uh, and uh, Tony, who is a, a regular caller. And I'm trying to think. We have one other person. Who was the other person? I can't remember now. And that was it. You know, and it was a nice little discussion we had. Oh, Brian, uh, Brian, um, uh, the other Brian. Uh, uh, but uh, so that was, you know, that was last night. But anyway, let me, uh, I now notice I have a button here that says admit all. So I can admit everybody that's there right now. And there are three people waiting to come on the program. Let's see if it gets bit bigger than that. Meanwhile, let me... Um, just uh, see these people coming on. Um, they all should be joining. I hit all, admit all, so the rest of them have to. Uh, all I've got here so far is Scott. Uh, uh, Charlie, uh, there, there, is Charlie uh, joining us? Yeah, Charlie's joining. Okay, I see what the problem is. There we go. And we uh, uh, do that. And there is a, there's a, uh, three people, including me, and of course, um, um, Brian, uh, what happened to Brian Neary? He was in the chat room, yeah. Yeah, he's not there now. So anyway, there's Jeff, okay, all right, uh, let me see here. Okay, well, we'll wait and see if uh, the other people uh, call. Hello, everybody, how are you this evening? Hey, hey. Hey, Scott, haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? I'm doing okay, but I seem to have done a Zoom thing wrong. I might have to quit and come back. Why? What have you I done? Can't see, I can't see anybody. Oh, you know why? Uh, go up to the very top. I had this with Ronnie. She didn't oh, notice. At the very top, you see where it says gallery view? At the no, I don't see any. I don't even. I'm back on a thing that says allow. I should click allow somewhere, and I don't see the allow to click. Uh, uh, oh, I don't know. You're coming through. Live. Yeah, we see you fine. Yeah. You're That's correct. crazy. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, it is. Well, crazy. I'll just watch you on. Oh, never mind. I had to, It was behind the other screen. Oh, I'm an oh I see. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I, I am, <laughs> I'm a retired engineer. I'm an idiot. Okay. I forgot. Yeah. Okay. You're an idiot. Okay. Anyway. I don't know what happened to Brian Neary. He was on, waiting to come on, and then he just, we lost him. So, I don't, I don't know. And where was everybody last night? I mean, Charlie, uh, none of the regulars called last night. Nope. It was just like three of us. That was huh? it. Huh? Yeah. I think it was just three of us besides you. Yeah. Uh, uh, Brian Ludwig, uh, you, uh, hmm. Jeff, Jeff, and, right, and Tony. Is. And Tony. Oh, Tony, too. Yeah. Yeah. And Tony. Tony. Came did, a did you say on Friday, Alex, that you were going to not maybe have a show on Tuesday? I, all I said was is that I 
I was having this uh, dental procedure. Yeah. And that if it was really bad, uh, I would uh, uh, not do a show, but, you know, that I was planning on doing one. So I don't think anybody got the idea I wasn't doing a show last night, but... I, I was shell shocked from the Frank debate. So I watched the whole thing. So. I, all yeah. I said wait, was. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, somebody turned down their audio. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Ed Munster. Oh, hey. <laughs> How are Ed you, Munster? Todd? Uh, hey, Todd didn't no, tell Todd's me there. Wait a minute. Oh, and Ed Munster is, uh, is uh, John uh, Larkin. Hello, <laughs> John. How are you? Uh, hey, Ed. I, uh, I didn't call in last night. I was so mad after that. Uh, debate i just had to go out and get a drink so i was like <laughs> a lot of that going on yeah um i was screaming at the tv but what <laughs> what were you screaming at though you couldn't have been screaming I was telling, at biden I was, telling, I was screaming at like biden i was saying tell him to shut the fuck up he finally did well he did he didn't say fuck but he said man will you shut up he should have, done it. He should have been more aggressive yeah, and then later you call him. A, can somebody stop this clown? Yeah. Oh boy, I mean, uh, he said all the things we wanted to say, right, Scott? I like the one. You're the worst president ever. For yeah. <laughs> ever, forever, ever. Uh, John Lowe left one. out the most important thing. He actually called for violence on election night. Yeah. He yeah. told the Proud Boys to stand by. No. And they advocate violence. I don't know who the Proud Boys are. Yeah. <laughs> but yet he, he somehow keeps believing there is such a thing as Antifa. Yeah. Which is not an organization, although I'm the head of it. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, but I mean, uh, what? I mean, he's, it was, oh God, it was just, it he was just, maddening. He doesn't even know what Antifa stands for. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, or anti -fall, listen, he, he, anti he, he doesn't know what he stands for. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, I mean, it was... What Did you see it last night, Todd? Yes, I did. Okay, 100 million people, by the way, watched it last night. Uh, <laughs> biggest ratings ever for a president. Yeah, right. Uh, what did you think, Todd? Um, wow, I thought it was... Um, it was <laughs> it was something else, Um I stopped driving a little early so I can, you know, watch it. And it's like, after it was over, I was like, I stopped driving a little short today for this. Yeah, I, I wasn't happy with it. I mean, I knew Trump would do what he Trump does. And, you know, I figured, you know, you know Biden would have had a lot more things to say, bringing up a lot more things. But. Really really the, you know, the one opportunity he really missed, uh, and I thought about this today, uh, and uh, I, he should have said it, uh, when Trump went after uh, uh, Hunter Biden, and he went, well, he, uh, he got a dishonorable discharge from the military, and uh, um, Biden said, no, he didn't, that's a lie, but... And then he went into the story about his son. He said he had a drug problem, as so many American people do. And he took care of it. And he is uh, on the men now and is in a better place now. What he should have said was, but he served his military, which is something you didn't do. But he didn't take that opportunity to bring that out. Bone spurs. Bone spurs. Well, you know, those bone spurs... How do you they disappear? What? They just disappear. It's like magic. It's a miracle. Yeah, yeah. The miracle of the bone spurs. Uh, and he was ready to, he would have been right in the middle of that uh, Vietnam thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he uh, he didn't, you know, and uh, uh, that's uh, that's what uh, what happened. I don't, whatever ha what happened to, uh, what happened to Kevin? Uh, might be he had a computer problem or something. But anyway, uh, American Patriot is on tonight. You better watch yourself, American Patriot, because I found out how I can ban you from the <laughs> chat. Uh, Grammar? Um, um, I can, uh, I, there is a thing where I can say hide user on this channel. So uh, you just watch yourself, okay? 
And if you don't think I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it the first time you start up. The other night on the chat, which you, you look at the chat, right, Charlie? Yeah, yes, I do. He was like, he had like 20 posts that he was doing over and over and over and over and over and over and over. It was the same yeah. thing over and over and over and over again. And uh, yeah. And somebody's on there tonight that's called Alex Bennett's twin. <laughs> that poor fucker. I was going to say, I, I, I take great pity on you if that's the case. Oh, and he's using an old picture of me as his, uh, as his picture. Anyway, so I've just been so tired lately, and I don't know what this is all about. And then I'm playing that damn video game. And uh, I play it for like two hours, and then I come out of there, and I'm just loopy for the rest of the night. I have no strength left. I'm shaking, you know? Anybody? anybody? Nobody here plays video games, right? You do, right, Todd? So you yes, know what, I do. You know what I'm talking about? If you play too long, you start getting, at the beginning, I got a little carpal tunnel <laughs> right here, you know? A little, a little bit, a little bit in the wrist, but, you know, I play long, so. You play you play alone? Did you say you play long? Long, long games. Uh, long games. I'm playing a long game too. I'm playing one what that. What is it? Uh, um, uh, um, the uh, what do you call it? The something of us. What's it called? Uh, Your life or something? The uh, 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 hold on a second. I'll I'll go find <laughs> it. Uh, the Last of Us, Part Two. I didn't do Part One. I have no idea what happened in Part One. Uh, but this thing just goes on and on and on. And supposedly, if you start at the beginning, you go to the end, and you, you're a fairly just half-ass player. Take you 50 hours to play it. So, and I'm somewhere about 30 hours into it. So, uh, you know, but it, it uh, it's 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 a, it's a lot of work. I wish I put that much work into this program. It'd be a hell of a lot better. But anyway. Um, so I guess this is it for tonight for the people. Uh, let's uh, let's talk more about what happened last night. I just feel that um, you know. How do you feel Trump came out of this thing? Worse, better, the same? What? I I think he came out probably worse because you know the it just, the more you put him on the spot when he has to actually you know show what he's what he knows and you know who he is the more it'll expose what an asshole he is and how unfit he is to be the president so we'll know when the uh the the, the latest polls come out well you know the thing is that he, he he kept throwing that bomb at biden about hunter uh and oh, about about what is it the, the three million dollars from the mayor of, of uh no he Moscow. said initially he said he made three billion dollars. Yeah, right. Where the fuck's he get this? You know, out of his ass. Hmm. You he mean he's out of his ass? Said, Biden should have said, "Where'd you get that from? Your KGB friends or something?" Yeah, because that's where it came from. Right. It came from Giuliani and his KGB fucking, you know, handlers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, uh, you just kind of wonder. Here comes Brian now. Yes. Did you have computer problems, Brian, or what? Yeah. 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 I got kids playing video games. Oh. I got the four-year-old playing Roblox. Then I got the wife watching drama, Japanese drama or something like that. Well, you better get more. Pay <laughs> Who pays for everything? Yeah. <laughs> I can't even get on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, Charlie. Uh, you were asking who won. According to Nate Silver in the 538 group, uh, Biden now has uh, is going to win. A, they're predicting he's going to win 352 electoral votes. Oh, Jesus. What a rout. I will yeah, cry. So, you know, that's after the debate. Yeah. Now, if that's the case, what can Trump take to the Supreme Court? I mean, he could say, oh, yeah, it was because of all the mail-in ballots, which are terrible, the mail-in ballots, and we don't like the mail-in ballots, and I'm taking this to the Supreme Court. But let's say you've got 382 electoral votes. I mean, isn't somebody going to say, so let's say a certain number were phony, okay? Yeah. You still lost, you motherfucker. 
Yeah, we'll we'll give you a fucking Pennsylvania, you dildo. You're still lost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In, in fact, no, we won't. Yeah, yeah. The problem is in court, you actually have to produce evidence. He has never once produced any evidence of any voter fraud with mail-in ballots. He just makes these proclamations and never backs them up with any proof. Yeah. Well, I mean, he has to prove that somebody was out to change the the the, the uh, election. How many of you? Are, there is no proof. How many of you out there are actually going to do it by mail, and how many are going to do it by uh, going to the poll? I'm going to do it by mail. Are you going to the drop poll, off. Jeff? I drop off at the poll. Huh? Yeah. I, yeah. I drop it off at the poll. Okay. Yes, yeah, in here. That's what I'm. Yeah, gonna I'm going to I'm going to do a mail-in ballot that I'm going to drop off at the voter office. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go right up the street here for early voting and just go in and do it. You know. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we're taking our life in our hands. Todd? Me and my dad already voted in Virginia. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, I already went in town real quick, voted, mm -hmm. got it done, knocked it out. Yeah. And uh, Oh, by the way, I'm, this just in from the GabNet newsroom and our election night headquarters. Uh, so far, Joe Biden has two votes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Todd, was there a lot of people there? Yeah. But you don't yeah, know there who was. voted for. It was. Really? There were a lot. And it was raining, and I was surprised, you know, there was going to be that many people there. I thought it was going to be like, you know, kind of we get in, you know, get out. It was a line. It was, and then when we was leaving, the line was even twice as longer. Oh, um, really? Wow. Okay. Well, I, I think this, I think we're going to see finally uh, a, a, a large turnout for an election. Yeah, uh, I I don't see why anybody would stay home on this one. I mean, this is, you know, about as uh, amazing as it gets. What do you know? American patriot stopped uh, stopped uh, chatting all of a sudden. Well, I guess he's trying to be a good boy. <laughs> he's good. Um, so anyway. Um, what, uh, but I think that we really have to, uh, the reason I'm, we're going to vote at the polling place is we just don't want our vote to not count. I mean, uh, yeah, here's the funny part about it, and I've said this before. I live in New York. I'm going to vote for Biden, okay? If I didn't vote for Biden, the state would still go for Biden. If half the people in New York who are going to vote don't vote, it will still go for Biden. And that all gets compressed into an electoral mm -hmm. vote of, I don't know, 78 or something like that we have. I don't know how many we have. And uh, if I don't vote, you know, it's not going to change anything. Now, if I lived in Wisconsin, that would be a different story altogether. Uh, there, I could make a difference. So between now and Election Day, I'm moving to Wisconsin. Yep. You can, can you do that? No. 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 <laughs> no. How long do you have to live in a state before you're qualified to uh, vote there? Probably like a year or something? No, I think, oh. I, I think it's a lot less than that. I think all you have to do is register, but you have to register within the time that you can register. And you can't be right. registered in two states at the same time. Yeah, right, right. But I was going to say, you're, you can't if you're going to register, right? go to Florida also. I don't know. How do they stop people from doing that, though? How do they stop people from doing, you know, two different do uh, two different states? One thing they do is check up on them. If they see that you voted in Florida and you voted in Texas, you're gonna go to prison. Really? <laughs> yeah. When, when's yeah. the last time you heard of somebody going to prison for that? Was it, wasn't there like was a the lady? Last time and, anybody did it. Well, there was a lady in Texas. Remember that lady that it was a black lady in Texas yeah. or somewhere? Five fucking years she yeah, got yeah. in prison. Because she <laughs> accidentally registered somewhere and voted where she wasn't she, supposed to vote? She, what what it was was uh she was out of prison. She was a, uh, I believe she was a felon and she wasn't allowed to vote or something like that. Okay. And she voted. She uh, something about a she 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 had a some sort of criminal um um Conviction. Yeah, they, yeah, but they would cross check that. They got computers to like, do that, you know. <laughs> it was an accident. She didn't know the rules. Right. Yes, right. she didn't exactly. know she wasn't supposed to. Okay, vote. but now, he, well, yeah, a lot of a lot of people get out of prison and don't know that they 
are not allowed to vote. Although it, 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 it's, it's not the same in every state, though, is it? Right, right. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I believe here in New York, if you had a felony or whatever, and you spent time in prison and you got out and you served your time and all of that, you get to vote. She, she, she might have been on parole or something like that. Okay. Yeah, but what the, you know what they're trying to do down in Florida is uh, uh, they 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 voted to allow felons to yeah. uh, to vote, uh, and um, uh, then they tr they realized these felons probably would vote for Democratic, okay, so they wanted to stop them from doing it. So they said, well, but you can't. We have just passed a law. You can't vote unless you've paid off all your fines and and things that you owe and whatever. So uh, Bloomberg went down there with about twenty five million dollars and said, "I'm paying everybody's fines." <laughs> and that's so the, the the problem they said though was that they can't find they can't go to all the counties right. and find all the records for all the people who owe that money. So that's the other thing that they're having a hard time with, trying to find out all the fines that they have. Yeah, yeah. So so that's the problem. Yeah, son of a bitch. It's, that's not easy. Uh, so anybody have anything they want to talk about? Because I've just been so exhausted lately that I, 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 I lack the energy to come up with seeds for discussion. Yes, Charlie. Yeah, I just want to mention that Amy Coney Barrett, who's a judge on the court in Florida, <laughs> the seat that she holds was a seat that McConnell refused to let Obama's pick fill. So he held that seat open for years until Trump got in to let Trump fill that seat. There was the indication by Trump that Obama didn't fill all the seats he wanted to fill. He was too lazy. Yeah. But if I seem to remember, wasn't the Senate preventing him from yeah, placing those seats? that's people? exactly what it was. The Senate would not uh, Approve. okay his nomination. Yeah, they, they were blocking him. So were, when, uh, when Trump got into office, he had all these people that he could, places he could appoint. Yeah, and he had, the, he, had the, he had the Senate to okay it and say it's all right. right. So why didn't, I wonder why uh, um, Biden, Biden didn't, Wallace bring, didn't, that, didn't that. bring that up. Yeah. Didn't say, well, we would have done it, but your guy McConnell wouldn't approve any of our, uh, of our people. Nominees. Yeah, any of our nominees. Yeah, I don't think Biden was thinking on his feet last night. He was surprised, you know. He, he was, um, I think he was just treating Trump with soft kid gloves for a while, you know. Especially in the beginning, he was like, it seemed like he didn't know, he, he didn't well, expect Trump to to be such a fucking oh, asshole. Oh, no, I think, I think he did. <laughs> but I think what he was doing was he was playing the um, grown-up, the grown-up yeah. in the room. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and letting the could. child be petulant. Uh, and uh, then it, it just got to be too much. Like So like any father would go, and you, you shut the fuck up, you know. Uh, yeah. Just shut up. Uh, I mean, Trump just wouldn't, he wouldn't stop. And I said last night, I mean, that it reminded me very much of someone who used to call this program. It was the same yeah. kind of behavior. It sounded like one of your shows. It sounded yeah. like one of my shows, yeah when that guy was on, uh, because he did exactly the same thing. He would, uh, you know, interrupt. He would uh, monopolize the conversation. Yep. And, and, you know, it was almost as though Trump last night, he was all over the place. He didn't have any focus at all. And then yeah. uh, it was like he was just trying to run the clock out and get the hell and out he of there. did the same thing to Hillary. Remember, he kept, he kept these little snide remarks, like little words he yeah. would say while she's talking. Just yeah. to distract them, and that's that's I think that's the hardest thing probably for Biden is when he's trying to get something out, and then he hears these "Oh yeah, you wish" or something like that, like a yeah. two-year-old says. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw a headline just before I got on here that said that they're thinking about having a cutoff switch in the next in the next debate, so that if Trump does that again, they can cut off his mic. No, they He'll do. They, they, uh, they did have a cutoff switch, and they, they, it's called the control room. And they were did have the ability to do that, but they didn't. Um, I think the reason they didn't do it is because they, you know, then all of a sudden, who's going to cry wolf? Trump, right? We, we, we. You know, he's being censored. Huh? He's being censored. He'll think he's being censored. Yeah. 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 So. Biden Bring one of those those boat horns, you know, 
and every you know go Bleh! every time he starts yapping, you know. Well, what what, what what they should have done was they should have said last night, and while you know the other person has the two minutes to talk, we're going to turn off the other person's mic and exactly. just do that. He'll still talk. Well, he'll try, but nobody will hear him. Nobody will hear him. Wow. <laughs> Did you and see that meme? Put him in a booth. Mm-hmm. Put him in a booth. Sound yeah, like exactly. <laughs> they they had that meme. They're going to have Samuel L. Jackson be the moderator. <laughs> yeah. Tell him, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Your two minutes is over. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> wow. See, That'd be great. Mm. Yes, Jeff. I was always surprised at the number of people who I uh, got uh, got uh, notes which said that they were disappointed in both of the people. Did you guys feel that way? I know. I, 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 I you know, I, it, look, I think among people, uh, oh, um, Bree just wrote something on the chat room that said Trump won, America lost. Right, Bree? Uh, but, you know, I mean, he didn't... Uh, Trump just stay in Singapore, Bree. We don't want you. It's Kuala Lumpur. Whatever. Whatever. Same thing. Same uh, fucking place. <laughs> you can see Kuala Lumpur from Singapore. Rice. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, uh, it, it was it was just um, uh, I think that uh, that Biden was trying to be the nice guy. He was trying to be reasonable. Trump wasn't being reasonable at all, but he wasn't also going to put up with it. And I think he, he stood his ground, you know, by saying, shut up, you know, which what he's telling the president of the United States to shut up and later on refers to him as a clown. And then, then and he tried to take oh, yeah. it back a little bit. You see, he says, you clown. He goes, oh, no, I shouldn't say that. Now, was that as bad? Was that as bad as uh as anything Trump did, though, any of the things that Biden said. I don't think Biden was embarrassing. I think, if anything, no. Biden wasn't exactly everything we wanted him to be. He didn't have all the answers we wanted him to have. Right. And I don't think he took, as I say, like when uh, he talked about his son having a drug problem, and no, but he served in the military, he should have <laughs> said, but that's more than you ever did, and he would have, boom, Yeah. you know. Yeah. But I, I like I like the times that it started getting a little chaotic and then Biden would look into the camera, you know, and he's saying, you this is about you. You listen to him, yeah. him. It's all about him. It's all about him talking those things. He knew how to play the camera. He knew how to just turn around, pivot and talk d- uh, directly to America. He knew which camera was his. Yep. Uh, and uh, I think that was a, a decent strategy. But. You're saying that certain people said to you, Jeff, that they feel both people lost. And that That's what they told me, and I, I, I think they're very disappointed in both. But maybe it was a nice way of saying Trump screwed him, but they can't say it nice. I don't think Trump screwed Biden. him. I think Trump screwed himself. You know, I don't. I don't think a a decent American can look at his performance last night and feel that that's presidential. And that's what but they the want. Cult, the cult doesn't care. Well, the cult doesn't care, but the you know the cult is uh, going to vote for him anyway. It's yeah. all those other people you've got to you've got to uh, uh, you know convince. How do you think he did? Biden did, Todd. I mean, do you feel that he? Uh, I think Biden did the best he could for the circumstance that he was stuck in. Yeah. You know, I mean, he yeah. really couldn't do too much. You couldn't really say much. And then when he did, you know, homeboy knew to just say certain things to just get him off the things that he was trying to say. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, he could do but so much. I'm not a big, big fan of, uh, of Biden's, you know. I mean, I'm going to vote for him, but I'm not a big fan. I'm not going enthusiastically to the poll to vote for him. I'm going enthusiastically to the poll to vote against Trump. Yeah, same here. Uh, but I will have to say what I do like about Biden is, this is no pun intended, he's an average Joe. He comes across mm-hmm. as a working man's uh, president. You know, he, he knows what it's like to have to work hard and to grow up in a middle-class family and to, you know, 
to do the kinds of things that Americans have to do. Trump is uh, just a, he's a clown. Trump is a rich, a rich kid who was spo a spoiled brat. And uh, yes, uh, Eddie Munster. When, when, uh, when Trump uh, brought up uh, that, um, that crime bill from the, what was it from the 90s <coughs> that, 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 Al, uh, that, that Biden was, he, he, he supported it and he signed it. And I think it was Clinton's crime bill. But at the time, uh, uh, Trump was railing against the, uh, ki those innocent kids in Central Park. Yeah. Why, why didn't fucking, that, why didn't Biden mention that? He said, hey, when I signed that crime bill, you were fucking, you know, taking out full page ads condemning, yeah. you know, innocent kids that had nothing to do with that murder, I mean, or that rape, and you were asking them, you know, calling for the fucking death penalty, you, you know? And, and by the way, and add to that, that he never apologized for it. Yeah, yeah. Even, still, even he, after they had been uh, exonerated. Well, yeah. he doubled down. He said yeah. they did something else. They should have been killed anyway. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 Fuck. The guy is a racist. There's, a, there's no... Yeah. Well, you know, you and I don't have the right to call him a racist uh, because we're white. But now let's ask the two black people that are here. <laughs> it doesn't make a difference of the color. Everybody yeah. got the right yeah. to call that man a racist. Well, yeah. I'm just saying that in your opinion, when you watch him, do you feel offended personally? Not really because I knew how he was when I used to live in New York. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, he's been that way his whole life. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, his father was with the Ku Klux Klan. Everybody forgot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was he with? Wait, 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 wait. I, I may have missed that. His father was with the Ku yeah, Klux Fred. Klan. Yeah, yeah really? Fred. Yeah, arrested at a Klan. Yeah. Only the black people do this at Madison yeah. Square Garden. There was a Klan. Yeah. They didn't crowd. tell me that uh, in the synagogue. I no, they didn't tell us that on Rosh Hashanah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know that he had he had to pay. A, a million dollars because of uh, uh, he was refusing to rent to black people. Yeah. Yep. Correct. Yeah, that's all these things that Biden could have brought up, but he's just slow, you know? I don't know. He should have mm. had all that shit written down on a piece of paper. Well, I'm sure he had a lot of it, but, you know, the thing is that it's a question. When you're going into something like that, let's face it, the reason you're there is not because you want to debate somebody, but because you want to make your case to the largest audience in America. Yeah. yeah. All right? And you want to do it in a way that doesn't make you look bad. Right. And if he started going after Trump on everything, you know. And let's face it, he's still got two more debates to go. He can unload it later on. Save some for it. later, oh. you know? Yeah. He shouldn't do it. No more debates. We're done. Well, they might, it might not happen. It might not happen he because... Should, he should just say, forget it. Let's, we have no need. Yeah, no Trump need won't let him get a word in as well. Trump has to agree right. to the mics being turned off, and if he doesn't agree to that, then there's no debate. Yeah. Biden said he's... I think Biden's already said he's all for that. Right. You know? That, what are they going to talk about on the next debate? Coronavirus... Racism. They're going to talk about the same subject. So the same thing. He's going to do the same. Yeah. Spiel. The difference is it's a town hall, and so therefore people in the audience, or maybe they're going to do it using yeah. Zoom That'll or whatever, good. are That'll going be to. Good because Trump will have to answer questions and not not make accusations yeah. against Biden. How do you, how do you, how do you feel about um, about uh, Chris Wallace? I mean, I uh, huh? Uh, I didn't. Yeah. I, I didn't like when. Their, both of their times were over, mm -hmm. and then Trump said, well, can't I answer that? Can't I reply to that? He said a statement. Can I? In, Wallace let him talk. He should have said, no, your time is up. Done. Next he subject. Tried he tried to, but he couldn't. He, he, he wouldn't time. shut up. He kept talking over Chris. But the thing that really pissed me off about Chris Wallace, he asked Biden a question, and it was like, that's not Biden's job. He, he asked Biden... Mm -hmm. What did you call the Democratic governors and of these states oh, and yeah. tell them to bring out the National Guard? And yeah. Biden looked at him like, I'm nobody. I'm just a former yeah. vice president. I have no authority to do that. You dumb fuck. You should have yeah. said. Yeah. 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 So anyway, I just I just put uh, American Patriot in time. In the box. Yeah. 
yeah. It's American Patriot is now being hidden. All his posts are being hidden here. So, uh, so annoying. Yeah, no, what? Yeah, I, you know, I mean, uh, he was saying things like, I don't know, uh, 47 years and uh, Trump uh, and, and Biden's done nothing. You know, well, I, what's he doing? Listening to Trump's speech and then simply parroting it on a chat room? Well, for the last Get four an original years, idea. Unemployed. What? For the last four years, uh, Biden's been unemployed. He hadn't, he hadn't, yeah. he, what? So he's 43 years, maybe, at best, but still. Yeah. yeah. Eight yeah. years as vice president, I think he did a lot. Yeah, and plus he uh, he did things while he was in the Senate. Sure. That's one of the things yes. that Trump was yelling at him about was the, the crime bill. But that's one thing he did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, it's not like he didn't do anything. Well, here's the thing. You know, I uh, number one, for, let's get back to Chris Wallace for a second. I just felt sorry for him. As somebody who could be in that position, okay, mm -hmm. I felt sorry for him. I mean, he was trying he, – he, it was like he was – I often describe it as being, he was like uh, a guy driving a car with a drunk in the seat next to him, tugging on the steering wheel. Yeah. You know, and constantly yeah. doing it and having to constantly right the car. And uh, I, I, I felt bad for him. Uh, I felt bad for him a couple of months ago when he interviewed Trump, and Trump was doing the same thing with him in, in just a one on one. Uh, and I said, God forbid I should ever feel sorry for Chris Wallace, you know, and I did. Um, and I felt last night he had an almost impossible job, you know, it, with two decent, honorable people, Biden and somebody else who was decent. That wouldn't have been a big problem, you know, so whatever. Do I look pasty white tonight? Do I look pale? A little huh? bit. We all do. We do? Okay. I don't look sick, do yes, I? I? Do I look sick? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just the light's bright. That's all. Yeah. Oh, the light is bright? I can turn it down. But anyway. Uh, Jeff had his hand up, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah who? Yeah. Um, Jeff. Yeah. Jeff. One of the things that, uh, that uh, Wallach, Wallace, mm -hmm. Wallach, what's his name? Wallach? Wallace. Chris Wallace. Wallace. Chris Wallace. Chris Wallace. 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 Yeah. yeah. I, apparently, at one time, he said to Trump, he goes, why don't we switch the job? You can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, why don't you come down here and I'll go sit up there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, and uh, he. he but was, I, I he, don't think he really controlled Trump. And, and he had to. Well, he, he was did. right, though, because he had a job to do, you know, and he and he wasn't being allowed to do it because this oath, you know, was making an impossible task for him. He just throwing lies out there, constant lies, you know. And, and that, you can't have a debate with a guy like that. It just doesn't make sense. You well, know? I mean, he was throwing out all these, uh, all these memes and all these uh, uh, talking points that uh, he just uses and nobody questions him on. I mean, this whole thing about uh, Antifa or Antifa, um, I'm sorry, doesn't exist. It, it's a philosophy, which I'm all for. I mean, who isn't against fascists? Uh, but it's not a group of people holding demonstrations and, and fomenting revolution or anything like that. And yet the Proud Boys, or what are they called? Is that their name? Proud Boys. Yeah. Proud Boys? Yeah. Talk about people who are fomenting revolution. I mean, and come that, on. Biden, Biden got out there. He said, your, your FBI, your head of FBI says that it's not a... There's no such group. And then he says something like, well, he doesn't know or something. I don't know yeah. Oh, no, saying. nobody knows. Trump knows everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Cuomo the other day in one of his rants against Trump said, you know, Trump has always uh, said, uh, oh, this thing will go away or blah, blah, blah. And he gave the litany of all the things Trump had said about uh, about COVID. And then mm -hmm. he said, you know, I've been to Trump's office, to the Oval Office, to meet with him on a couple of occasions. And while I was there, I never saw a doctor's degree on the wall. Mm -hmm. And then he asked one of his people, he says, you were there with me. Did you see any kind of degree like that on the wall? And he said, no. And he said, well, then what the hell does he know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and when he had some line today I was reading. that you know, he, uh, Cuomo has just been savaging him because he feels... That Trump is trying to kill New York, you know, and that he doesn't want to uh, uh, have him, 
you know, uh, have, have the city get any funds, you know. So if we don't get funds, then we can't pay police, and we can't pay firemen, and we can't pay hospital workers, and we can't pay a lot of things. You know, and and the government is responsible in giving some of that money to us. You know, we put a chunk of money into the government every year, the state of New York, and then a chunk of money comes back to us to run it. And our money is more than enough to compensate for that. And then that money goes to states who really don't chip in what they should be, like Kentucky. And Kentucky gets money that we shelled out for and that that makes Cuomo very mad you know he says we don't mind paying in but we we mind it when you won't give us anything back so <laughs> amazing just amazing um then we got a problem here in New York you know with the COVID thing because we, we had some spikes in certain area codes uh thank God mine isn't one of them you know, uh, did, yeah. On Rachel Maddow tonight, mm -hmm. she did a thing on COVID for the first 15 minutes or so, and she was talking about how it's really bad right now in Wisconsin, where Patrick's at, mm -hmm. South Dakota, where they had all those rallies, mm -hmm. uh, the 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 biker thing, Surges. Surges. and also in North Dakota. Mm -hmm. I mean, just just going rampant straight up, like yeah. like it balls. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It's not. It's not gone. Yeah, right. Arkansas okay. also. Arkansas. Yeah, I thought Wyoming is spiking. Uh, yeah. A lot. A lot of those. All things. these red states. Red yeah. states. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. So they don't like masks. Uh. Yeah. So I mean, it, it, it's it. But here, it it's picked up for several reasons. Number one, I mentioned it last night. The Orthodox Jews. Uh, are uh, what a piece of work they are. Uh, they, you know, they have caused a huge spike out in Brooklyn, in their area, because they don't wear masks, you know, and and then they hold these these uh, you know these services and these cramped synagogues, and uh, it uh, it becomes a real problem. And and Cuomo had to go meet with the Orthodox Jews today or yesterday. And talk with them and say, look, you know, what do you want to do? Kill each other? You know, you got to wear masks. You got to mask up. There's nothing in your religion or in the orthodoxy of Judaism that says you can't wear a mask. Yes, Charlie. I, I just want to mention that Texas is now just 129 deaths away from passing New Jersey for the second highest death rate in the country for COVID. Let's go. Come on. We can make it. We can do it. Yeah. We're <laughs> number one. About this We're weekend. Number about one. This weekend. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're coming for New York. <laughs> I think the new the new cap should read make em, make America empty again. <laughs> yes. Give it back to the Indians. Y yes, John. I, I, I was watching, I don't know if it was something on ESPN or it was either a football game or it was a highlight of a football game, and one of the commentators goes, uh, he, he said, and, and he goes, and when uh, when COVID was here, you know, now that he was talking like now, he said, now that it's, you know, COVID's no longer here. I was like, I was like what the fuck? I, <laughs> yeah, pal, it's, it, it's still here. He was like, he was like talking it like in the past. COVID's yeah. over. Yeah. Oh. And that, that's how they're talking on, you know, Fox and OAN. I mean, oh my God, have you seen that OAM before? I've I've watched it. Yeah, I've looked at it. That is, it's it's ridiculous. It's so bad. The production value. Well, uh, what I don't, I don't get is where all these amateur women come from. Yeah. Who are their hosts? I don't. Uh, I very seldom see a guy there being the MC or the anchor. And, and so they're so stupid. In the production. Well, that's that's yeah. the that's the outfit that Trump has money in. Yeah, no, really. that explains yeah. it through his son. No. Yeah, yeah, he he doesn't like uh, he doesn't like Fox that much anymore because Fox actually gets critical of him now and then. Does not do his his bidding. Yeah, you know, they do not know where their butter is breaded on or bread is butter or something. 
Um, yeah. uh, and and he doesn't like Fox as much, so he wants to go to the competitors. Now you have Newsmax. You really want a work of art. Newsmax. OAN looks amateurish. Newsmax is just you know. I don't know how to explain it. It's terrible. And then there's but, one that what's his name went to the guy that was on Fox and got fired because I know he's slapping women on yep. the ass. So. That was CNBC. No, it's called First. Mary, something first. I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, and J Bill, J Bill O'Reilly is. Oh, on. Bill O'Reilly. Yeah. And so also funny. this this woman, and I'm trying to remember her name now. Who, if it weren't that she was such a right wing asshole, uh, I would get horny watching. <laughs> You know, I mean, do you ever, you ever have that happen where there's yeah, somebody, yeah. you know, on TV that, you know, <laughs> you just go, I, 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 you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, South Dakota governor is pretty cute, but I'm South sorry, Dakota sorry. governor? Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I haven't seen her. Is she cute? Yeah. She looks yeah. like Wonder Woman. Is yeah, she? She looks is she, like Linda Carter. Is she a Republican? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. Well, hold on a second. Crazy I'm not, Republican. Wait a minute. What, what, what state is that? Christy Nome. Oh, What's her name? What's her name? Christy Nome and uh, she's Chris, wait, governor Chris, of South Dakota. Christy Nome. And, uh, uh, Nome? I think it's N-O-H-M, I think. is. Uh, Christy Nome. Uh, how's that spelled? I'm not sure. I think it's N-O-A-M. N -O -A -M. Oh, there it is. Noem. N-O-E-M. Oh, yeah. Governor of okay. South Dakota. Okay, hold on a second. I'll let you know if I get an erection here. <laughs> hold, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's on full screen. I forgot. Yeah, there we go. I, I'll put this on uh, on the screen there so that people can uh, can see it. Uh, that's uh, that's her. She is. Uh, she's very attractive. You know. But the minute she starts talking, <laughs> really, you lose your boner, do you? <laughs> Jeez, uh, let me see here. Let me go look at, uh, there's some other pictures of her here. Let me see if I can find one that's, uh, uh, oh, here's one where she looks a little more like Wonder Woman, okay? Here, here we go. Wait a minute. There we go. Um, he, here's a little more like Wonder Woman. I don't know, you guys can't see it, but she, uh, she's, she, she is attractive, you know? I mean, yeah. that, but that, I hate attractive Republican women. It really <laughs> bothers me, you know. What's that, that blonde? They call her White Power Barbie. She's she's like a right wing uh, nutcase on Al Alex, uh, Tawny Alex Lauren, Tommy or Tawny Lauren or something like Tawny that. Tawny Lauren, never heard. Tommy. Of that. Tawny, Tony Lauren. Tony is it Tony Lauren? I think it's Tony. Tommy. Tony Lauren. What is but it's T A N I. Oh, Tommy oh. Lauren. Tommy Lauren. T O M I. Tommy, 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 Tommy. Oh, Bill O'Reilly, and he is a uh, Bill O'Reilly now is on. He's uh, on a TV show. It, well, he has his own show. What is it he doing yeah. these days? And it says, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, recently, jo O'Reilly joined the Fox News Channel. Uh, uh, no spin newscast. He was fired. And uh, where is he now? He, it's called something first. I can't I he's remember. Got a blog. Huh? I, uh, yeah, I thought it was just a radio show. Yeah. No, no. It's got a podcast, I thought. Uh, yeah, yeah, plot podcast. I think that's what it is. No, but it's called. Uh, that's been used. It doesn't doesn't say that where it is here. Huh? Oh, that's too bad. Uh, oh, shit, yeah. True. Television projects and uh, uh, Riley serves as executive producer of Legends and Lies. Now, I can't find that name of that channel. Uh, I have it on my on my Roku, but I'm not going to fire up the TV set to look at it now. Um, but uh, there's a woman on there. Uh, oh boy, D Dana, somebody or another. Anyway, she she's hot too. But the minute she opens her mouth, you just want to pimp slap her. Well, yeah. right. Bill O'Reilly does no spin news. Is that what you're thinking of? Yeah, but he does it on a channel. Uh, oh, uh, huh? Okay. Okay. On, on, okay. Uh, do you want me? To, wait, hold on a second. I'll turn on my TV set. Okay, and then I will find it for you. 
so that you all know what I'm talking about. Let me see here. Come on. There we go. And then I go here so that I go to uh, source. I got to go to, oops, no, wait a minute. There's audio coming out of there. I don't want audio coming out of there. Let me turn this down. Okay. Now, let me go to uh, source and let me it's go to It's on OTT the first. No, no, this is, this is, yeah, the first is what it's called. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it's OTT. And, um, excuse me, folks, this makes great radio, doesn't it? Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, uh, it's only on YouTube TV or YouTube. Oh, uh, no, yeah. it, it's, uh, well, you can go to YouTube, but you can also go to Roku. They have the first. And here, oh, really? here's the first channel. And it's spinning around now. Will it ever come up? Here we go. First TV live. There's uh, O'Reilly, the Dana Show, and her name Dana Loesch. Dana Loesch. Oh, oh my God. God. She's hot. Yeah, she's, yeah. She's a fucking piece of work. She, yeah. She's a fucking piece of ass. <laughs> she's a nutcase, though. Uh, oh, of yeah, course. She's no, crazy it, as a loon. Well, I mean, I'm not going to say she's a nutcase simply because she's a right winger, but she's a nutcase because I've heard her. And yep. her whole spiel is uh, it just doesn't uh, doesn't play very well, you know. Uh, but uh, and and she dresses very butch. Sometimes you'll wear you know like t-shirts and things like that, and, you know. But, jackets. Yeah. But I've always hated right wingers who give me a boner. It's just I feel guilty. I feel like I just know <clears throat> that if I were back in World War II uh, and I were in a concentration camp and there was a hot female Nazi, I would probably get a boner, you know, I mean, and feel guilty about it. I, I, felt, I felt that way about Sarah Palin. I thought she was very attractive. Yeah, up to a point. Yeah. Up to a point, and then I kind of, uh, I kind of wondered what her private parts smelled like. <laughs> and when she I had when six I six kids or something, when, didn't she? Yeah, when when, when uh, I had that image in my mind, all of a sudden she melted like caramel candy. You know, um, um, uh, I feel the same way about the Supreme Court justice that they're putting up for Supreme Court justice. Um, uh, she's Time kind of work. she's good looking, but she's pushed After out. Seven she's kids. pushed pushed out seven kids. Two two were adopted. Oh, yeah. oh, two are adopted. Yeah. You see, yes, you see. Yeah, what are you laughing about, Todd? I <laughs> uh, do you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Just saying that, um, yeah, she's uh, good looking, but putting up the two ta token black kids that 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 that. Just killed me. Oh, does she have two token right. black kids? Yeah. Adopted, yes. What? She couldn't have any on her own? Kim Kardashian could. <laughs> she had a whole lot of them. She adopted two other ones. And they're, they're dark skin, too. It's like just. Mm -hmm. I, hmm. I bet Trump had to hold his nose when he appointed her. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, what was it on, on Family Guy this weekend? He got a magic eight ball, and it breaks, and he says, I broke my magic eight ball. He says, just like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> they have a new South Park tonight. Uh, I haven't seen it. I'll, I'll watch it after the show. The But the pandemic, a special pandemic uh, uh, South Park? episode. Well, you know, South the thing Park. is, the thing is that That's gonna be funny. These, animated, hour too. these animated shows are still going strong, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because they can do them long distance. They don't all have to be in the same room to do them. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, they found a way to do them, and Family Guy looked great, and, you know, and it was very funny. Very funny. Um, so, uh, you know, I mean, um, you know, what I like about this whole thing, this whole COVID crisis, is how we've adapted to it, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, I watch a show called Britain's Got Talent, which is much better than America's Got Talent. And they did the same thing they did in America, but for some reason it even looked better. They had this big giant screen in back of the, of the judges with a thousand people on that screen, all as an audience who applaud, who cheer, who do everything, just like a normal audience. Mm. And I'm saying to myself, you know something? We're really inventive when it comes to figuring out a way around something, you know? 
except schooling. Uh, that, uh, how do you think that's working out for your kid, uh, uh, Brian? I'm losing you. Um, it, it's working out okay for the two, the junior high and high school. Mm -hmm. um, the good thing about that is they have this thing called Infinite Campus where we can see every single uh, paper they turn in and we can see their uh, grades for every single test. Mm -hmm. So uh, we can track that. That's the big help for us. Uh, the four-year-old's a little bit tough, you know, because sometimes they, the teacher gives them a lot of paper. So when she's trying to find those papers to work on, um, but they're, they're they're doing okay. But they're good students. I, I you know, we have the house. They have their own rooms. They can do all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But you know, growing up, when I was growing up, and I know my my friends at that time, mm -hmm. they didn't have all that stuff. So I, I don't know about underprivileged kids how they getting along. So you get back to that gap of you know. Yeah, I mean you you've got again. you've got money. You can buy the computers. You can buy the bandwidth, uh, and so your kids are able to do their schooling in the best of possible situations. You probably have a printer, and they print stuff up, and so on and so forth for the students. Um, but I still think we've adapted to this thing, and very fast. If you think about it, it's only been six months. Yeah, you know, it's only been six months, and. Yeah. Um, even PE, they do PE. So they have to video themselves doing sit-ups ah. now, and then they're going to do these other workouts, and they do yoga, mm -hmm. all these things in front of the computer, and then they have to, they have to show that they're improving through the year. So, so yeah, I mean, but, we, but we, we've, managed to, we've managed to survive this thing, at least so, from that standpoint. I think, like, I'm tired all the time, and I feel weak and so on, and even though I've done a couple of walks and so on, I think it, it's being stuck indoors for this long a period of time, you know, oh, yeah. that's just starting to get to me. I mean, you're a little luckier than I am because you live in a neighborhood where maybe you can get in the car and go somewhere and be a safe distance from people. <clears throat> Same thing with Jeff and Scott and so on. Uh, most of you, actually, I have John Larkin probably stuck in his apartment. Um, and you haven't been out much, have you, uh, Charlie? No, I, I never go out. Yeah, so. Hey, and you're looking whiter than me. So, you know, I mean. <laughs> I probably have a vitamin D deficiency. So I don't, I, I don't look unhealthy is what I'm saying. I look fine. You look yeah. the same. I look the same. I don't look like I've gotten worse for wear. Okay, you know. Just, uh, but you, somehow you got to get out, you know. Somehow you got to get some exercise. Well, still. I go. I took I, Last week I took like three or four walks. Uh, totaled about six, seven miles, uh, you know, mm -hmm. so it, it did, it did work, you know, I did do it, but still, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just, I think it's depression too, you know. Just, what about the Peloton? The Peloton, have you done anything on that? No. The seat, aye, aye. The, the seat's too hard. <laughs> my exercise bike. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. At least five or 10 minutes, Alex, you got to get on there. At least I'm five not, I should start doing it. I think I will. I think I will. Mm -hmm. I think I've got to do something. But then again, Marjorie is not that much more well than I am, and she does 15 miles a day on it. So, wow. what the hell? <laughs> anyway, that's wow. it. We're playing the theme. It's time to go. What a great crowd tonight. It's been a, not a large one, but a good one. And uh, it's great to have you all here. Scott, always wonderful having you here. And it's safe now. You know, you can come on here and not get I don't, yeah, I don't have to yell. You don't have to yell. And uh, uh, thanks, Charlie. Really appreciate it. Appreciate it last night. Same to you, Jeff, as well. Um, mm -hmm. uh, thank you, John Larkin and Todd. Always great to see you in your truck. Mm -hmm. And uh, where are you? Where are you tonight? What city? I'm in Ohio. <laughs> oh, well, go and rig a couple of elections there while you're. <laughs> while you're <laughs> go grab some ballots. <laughs> and, Brian, yeah, right? and Brian Neary, thank you very much. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye. I'll wave goodbye at you, okay? Uh, old the pale Alex. Oh, well, nah, I don't look that pale. Anyway, that's it. That's our citizen panel for tonight. That was really good. Really good. And uh, as the hour went on, I, I got less and less tired and. You know, whatever. Anyway, hey, listen, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with the uh, uh, intersection. And I'll be back again tomorrow night. Uh, yeah, you know, you know what time. 1030 Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there.
do a favor for everybody and yourself. Wear a mask. Good night.